here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to proper do the hip lift. Yes, the most popular glute exercise there exists. So many people are getting it wrong. Today, after this video, I promise you're gonna do it perfectly. You can start with the bench, right? You got normally the 18 inch bench. Now, one thing that I see it wrong is I see a lot of people, do you see? It was so natural actually to do this. I actually sit on my foot. If you have a pad or if you have a step, okay, at home, make sure you put it here or at the gym, it's much easier actually. But make sure you use a step here. Why? Because I want to see the bench right on your scalpel, right at the end of your scalpel. That's where you should be, okay? Not here. I see a lot of people using elbows to hang on to this because look, if I sit on the floor, it's gonna be way too high. So make sure you lift here, put it over here, or sit on a step if you have. So no elbows. This is just for support. All the weight should be on my back. So I should be able to do this. Okay, and when I go up, notice something. I have a straight line from my knees to my shoulder. Okay, that's another thing. So first height, back, then straight line. Now I'm gonna challenge you. Get the toes off the ground. Get the toes off the ground. Now, if I'm here, okay, which I would be much easier if I'm sitting on something. So back check, straight line check, ankle check. Okay, now we need to understand the breathing. So when I'm over here, my active breathing, I'm inhale through my nose. When I exhale, notice my rib cage going down. Rib cage down, now I'm activating my core. And that is the most thing I see people doing wrong. Because if they relax this, their lower back is gonna come for the rescue. And we don't want the lower back come for the rescue. We want to keep the glute engaged. We wanna keep the hamstring engaged. Not the lower back to come for the saver. To come to save the game, okay? So bring it in. See the difference? Bring it in. Straight line. This is Instagram crap. Straight. Now, inhale, exhale, grip cage down, hold here. I can breathe here, but my rib cage is down. Heels out, I'm going to. Keeping my rib cage down. And notice something, my neck follows my body. Okay, it's natural. It, fall. it doesn't stay here or here, it just follows. Hold my shoulder. Now you notice, straight line, ribs down. That is a hip lift. And you wanna use a bar, great. If you cannot do this with the body weight, do not grab a bar. Do not grab a bar if you cannot keep the rib cage down. Why? Because if my rib cage is up, I'm bringing my lower back for the rest. We don't want that, okay? Now, how can I make the, the body weight heavier? Single leg, okay? Same thing. Make sure when you go up, you have the 90 degree here. I see a lot of this, okay? Bring it here. And now I bring my right leg towards me, toes active. Don't get lazy and put that leg out, I don't know what, over here. Okay, bring them here. So from here, rib cage down, I go up. And this is hard it is. But notice, I move at once. Like my whole body goes down at once and move at once. It doesn't break on the middle. I see this breaking so much. See the difference? Butt out, butt in. And that's why if I keep my leg really close to me, it's actually going to prevent putting my butt out. That's why I love the single leg, okay? Here, rib cage down the whole time. The whole time, it doesn't break. 
If you can't do this, if you're like, oh my gosh, I thought I could do the bench, I can't do the bench, what can I do? You can regret. And it's okay sometimes to take a step back from an exercise that is a little bit advanced and nail the foundation, nail the base. Have that strong base, that strong foundation, and then you can start going for more advanced. So what can I do? You can do, go back to the glute bridges, okay? Single leg, double leg, same thing, but the idea is the same thing. So I'm gonna lay down here, inhale, practice, inhale, belly goes up, exhale, squeeze to the ground, rib cage down, okay? Now that I have my rib cage down, my heels are, are off, my heels are on the ground, my toes are off the ground, Okay, I do same thing. My lower back kisses the mat, come back up. You get it? See, butt doesn't touch first, lower back touch first. Butt touch, lower back, okay? So now when I get good on this, great. Single leg, bring the leg here because if I bring here, let me do this leg, make it easier for you to see. If I bring this leg here, you notice that it's actually already rotating my hip. But if I leave here, do you get it? Look at the difference. If I keep my leg engaged, my hip is gonna rotate. But if I let, I let here or here, I'm putting too much pressure on my lower back and we don't want that. We want your glute, your hamstring working. Okay, so bring here, tight. Keep your toes engaged, don't, don't relax your toes. Keep your whole posterior chain engaged. And from here, rib cage down. Now you go up. Even if this has to shorten a little bit your movement, this is so much intense. When you adjust the little details, when you do this, when you adjust the little details, you're going to intensify. And to be very honest, Half of the people that I see in the gym, half of the people that I see on Instagram doing hip lifts, they're wasting their time. They should not be doing this because they don't get the right technique. You have to learn the right technique. You have to learn how your body moves, how your muscles move. In this way, you can start targeting the correct muscles. And the muscle that's supposed to come for the rescue, leave them there. They don't supposed to come. Listen, it's okay to regress to come to the mat if you're wasting your time like this. So this way you can have results by focus on the right mechanics, by doing the right exercise. That's when you start seeing your glute changing. That's when you start, you see your glute shape, shaping, okay? But you need to focus on the right mechanics so you can have the right exercises. I really hope this video helped you. Keep this tip, do me a favor, comment below this video and tell me, were you doing this exercise correct? Did you have to regress? And if you did, it's okay because now you know and now you're gonna build a strong foundation and start seeing results.